Welcome to our live show. All right. So, for those of you who normally watch us hit videos, and then it will be the first one. There you go. Just make sure you're down on your volume. So normally we go live and we go live on both Facebook and YouTube at the same time and we are trying something new because it's a new year, it's a new, we're just trying something new, yeah. shaking it up, keeping it alive, you know, and um, so we're, we just went live on Facebook. If you missed out, that was the live we did over on Facebook. And we're going to go live, of course, here and then on Instagram. And we're showing you how you can use this month's Club Couture Transfer in different ways. This here is a separate piece that we made. So if you missed out on this live, it's still up on Facebook, Chalk Couture mm -hmm. Ken's Creations. And uh, we're going to do a project here. Mm -hmm. Take a few minutes, and then we will pop over to Instagram. You're going to need to get her ball or she's going to continue to whine. Yep. All right, so we are gonna have fun with door tags. And if you have questions, make sure they're all in caps so Mr. Shawnee can tell them to me and we'll answer. So we are currently out of stock in door tags, but they should be coming back into stock soon. And we're gonna be using two of those and one of the mini tags that's in the catalog. Um, and we're going to be using the same color skew again. I'm really into the teals and stuff. And if you guys have questions, like I said, make sure, Sean will make sure to ask the questions out loud. So that way for those that aren't viewing the live chat in the replay, they can see our questions. Mm -hmm. And the transfer we are using is the Club Couture. The only way you can get this transfer is if you are a Club Couture member or if you're a designer. So... If you want to sign up or have questions on that, just reach out to us. I'd be happy to tell you. We can get you all set. All right. Got it. So we are going to start. Where's the lid for this little guy? Where's the lid? Do you have it? Mm -hmm. Were you just playing with it? No. Nope. No. Well, it's gone. Cece, can you move my sweet little girl? If you find a little lid in your cleanup, Sean, it's, Goes to that. it's home is right in there. Very it's very well. sad. All right. Very sad. So I have two different door tags. We're going to start with the one that's going to go in the back. Now, um, I am using a the Club Couture transfer, but we're actually starting with a new transfer, which is... A lot of, me, a lot of people's babes. I so like this, this is one. called Country Plaid. I love this transfer. Also, if I randomly fall, it's because there is a puppy trying to get her ball. And I would normally get mad at her, but she's almost one years old, so that means she's a teenager and she's not listening to me. It's very sad. All right, so this is brand new, never used. So anytime you have a new transfer, this is gonna sound weird and creepy, and I don't mean for it to be, but smell it. If it has a really, really strong smell, as if like a brand new mat for your cutting machine, you might need to let your transfer breathe for about an hour. Um, it, that we found that if there is that big strong odor, sometimes the transfer didn't cure and it needs to cure a little bit more. But in this case, we're good to go. So on big transfers, I just put it face down, pull up, wada bing, bada boom. And I'm just gonna fuzz it. I don't know where all of you are, but it is cold in Spokane. Yep. Cold, cold, cold. And tomorrow we get a new roof. And they're going to work in the cold. Yeah. When we um, went, she's got to move or something's got to give. We may, might need to put her out with her ball out there. Um, when we went to Savannah, there was a big windstorm that came in and it knocked over, I call it our chef hat. I don't know what it is. Um, Just a vent. That a vent. And... We called our insurance and we're like, yo, and they were like, here's some money. It's still going to cost us, but it would have cost us a lot more had we not had insurance. So mm -hmm. got to look at the positives. Okay. So I'm going to start with the back door take and I am going to have it go pretty far down to line it up with the bottom here. So that way I know it's on nice and straight.
Are oh, you messing with the camera I'm again? I'm gonna tilt it down just a little more because we're like not guessing much. I had it perfectly and then you you went back up with it. It doesn't matter what I want. It's okay that we're cutting. No, I went I went down. Because we had more you had more head. Okay, so we're good? Yep, now we're back. Alright. There we go. Much better. Okay. So I went at the very, very bottom and lined it up with this bottom here. And when I use a transfer like this, I will try to get it in frame so you guys can see it. I do put it down on the sides here. So if you don't have a um, work surface, you can use our self-healing cutting mat because I want a nice crisp transfer. So I do kind of push it down on the sides here. Okay, we are going to be utilizing Tide, Storm, and this is Couture Teal. And Couture Teal is the new formulation. These two are the old formulation, but they're really good consistencies. I don't have that. You, little girl, she now has three ball or two balls, and she's going to get tripped over, and then she's going to yelp, and I'm going to feel bad. Okay, typically I go for my small or mini squeegees, but I'm going to go with the smalls. And really, I just want to do a little bit of gray, then the dark teal. Really, we're doing a hot mess, but not a hot mess in a way. So I'm going to start with the gray that goes kind of down the middle. And this gray is going to dry pretty quick. So I'm going to move pretty quick because I did not do a good job making sure we were... That's okay. So, there was the gray. I'm going to grab this one now, and I'm going to use Tide. And we're just going to go to one side of it. Now, I like a more of a distressed look. So, even though this is my first time using this transfer, if you notice, I did not push down hard on it. And the reason why is I'm hoping for a little bit more of a distressed look. If you are not a distressed person, you just want to make sure you get a good seal on it by using a squeegee or something of that sort. spot here I want to pick up a little bit more gray didn't go all the way down so if you have that issue you just you can pick it up pretty much anywhere since we're not looking for perfection this is gonna have a little bit of a distressed look to it and I think I'll grab some teal down here and then before I lift it I will do a final look to make sure we're good we need a little bit of tide up here in here Cold where Tannis is. Holy crap. How cold is it there? Minus 18. Oh, that is cold. That's in Winnipeg, Canada. That's cold. Yes. All right. So, I think we are good. I'm going to clean off my squeegees. And we're going to go ahead and lift this bad boy or girl, whatever you want to say. And while I hold it down, I'm just looking to make sure I got all of the sections. Just in case I missed a section, I can put it down. We're good, so I'm going to go dry, or wash this. I'll dry this and then show. For those who did not watch Facebook, um, we are doing what's called the Native App Live. So we're just using an iPhone, so we only have one phone, and we're going straight to or from uh, YouTube on the phone itself. So that's why it's only one view and one view only. 
we had over 350 people watching on Facebook, which is more than what we have when we have the two combined using the the other uh, application. That is gorgeous. Can you move the one board and then, I know you're using that for, I have nowhere to dry my transfers because of that cricket mat you put down. Yeah. So I'm going to hold this until you can figure that out. Okay. Not to tell you I told you so, but I told you so. Sorry guys, we'll be right back. All right. So I'm gonna let that one dry. Did you show them? I did. Careful, it's still up, up close. Very cool. So that's the third time he's hit his head on that, and I keep telling him to make a sign that says "Watch your head." But you guys, he doesn't listen to me. I try to help him. It's, it's, he doesn't listen. I have time to make that one. Now. Well, your head will be severely damaged here soon. <laughs> He keeps hitting the camera right there. So, okay, so we have the one that is all done and it looks great. Kind of gets that cool, distressed look. Mm -hmm. And now we are going to work on the top one. We're going to use the Go Confidently February transfer. So, once again, this is a transfer that is only available to Club Couture and designers. So, Club Couture members should be getting it around the 15th. If you want this transfer, you can join Club Couture. Just reach out to us. We'll be happy to walk you through. Is that one still available? I believe so, yeah. So, Diana, yes, it is. She wanted to know if it was still in stock. Yeah, because we added it to the list of links down below. Mm -hmm. So, we wouldn't have been able to do that if it was out of stock. So, these are still a little bit wet from our last. So, I'm just drying it real quick. All right, so I'm just putting this kind of in the center as much as possible, but I'm not over worried about it. And once again, I'm using, um, I'm going to do tight in the middle, teal, and then we're going to do gray for the arrows everywhere else. So we'll do tied here. Actually, I'll do tied. Yeah. Can you bring his towards you? Thanks. Ooh, that is such a difference. So the tide is our old formula, and this couture teal is our new creamy dreamy. And I'm telling you, for those who have not had a chance to play with it, it is night and day. It is amazing, to say the least. Okay, I'm going to take my time. Now, yeah, Sean, go clean this, and I'm going to dry it. There you are. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So I'm going to dry that real quick. I'm just going to grab one of my old borders. I think this is from... I want to say it's the turkey, it was a, it came with part of a transfer that was like a, the turkey and this border, I think. I don't remember the name, it's retired. And I'm going to use Storm, because we use Storm on the magnitude of colors. And if you do not contaminate the backside, you should be able to just lift it and put it back down. So... I'm a little concerned on this new piece, but we'll see. We'll we'll see because it might not be 100% dry yet. Because it does take longer to dry. So I might have just oopsie dooly. We'll see. Fingers crossed it doesn't pull up. All 
I'm going to give that to Sean. And I have a little bit of contamination just because it picked up on the bottom there. So while it is still wet, we can just take a baby wipe and wipe that right up. If for some reason it dries and you can't get the color off, we can grab a board eraser and it will come right up. So in that case, just get as much of it off as you can with the baby wipe. But you can see there's a little bit left there, so I'm going to grab a board eraser. Do you need a board eraser? Yes, please. And then just using, you don't want to use a soaking wet board eraser, just one that's gently damp. And we're just going to go along those areas where you accidentally transferred that paste. Bada bing, bada boom, it's gone. See? So we're going to dry it. I'm gonna grab baby wipe, Sean. We are all out. Out, out, out. I don't know where the baby wipes are, so they're usually in that dresser. The dresser that you and Jazzy redid. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna grab, while he's doing that, I'm gonna grab the arrows. And we're just gonna do one set of arrows on the top and the bottom. So we don't want it to go all the way across, and then we're going to do that border on the bottom again that Sean just washed. So we can have this go a little bit up. Let's do it like right about, because that border is just about a finger's length, so that should be good. And this I'm just going to be using Tide and Teal, no gray. So we'll do some Tide in random places. Some of this Teal in random places. Well, maybe I should do some. No, I don't know. Eh, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the tube. Now, as long as we don't contaminate the back side of this, we should be able to place it right at the top again. I'm going to grab a detail tool. The detail tool has one end that is got a pointy tool, and the other end has a really nice detailed squeegee to get into tighter spaces. Just going to slowly lift that up. And because we don't have any paste on this back side, I can just bring it right up to here. Center it as best as I think I can. Grab some more Tide. Want to re-spin it? Go for it. And bring it down towards you. Thanks. Yeah, is there any questions, Mr. Mm -hmm. Director? having trouble seeing what you're doing. I know it's a different way than we normally do it. Um, but eventually we're hoping um, YouTube will allow native camera and camera, which I heard they might be. So Ooh, look at that. All right. Now Sean, wash this. And we're going to then follow it up. Here we go. Using that same border we used at the bottom. So... That is, I call it the turkey border, just because it came with the turkey. So if you have this, since we just used it, I need to dry it and wash it. So this is going down pretty soaking wet. What I do is I just grab my four inch squeegee, which is right over here. And I'm gonna squeegee it just like this to get the water out. Now, if you do not have a surface to do this on, we do have a self healing cutty mat that you can do this on. Grab a fuzzy cloth. Just like so. And then we're going to lift it up, dry, and then I just sandwich it in between. Like so. 
until I need it, which we're going to be using it right away. But this dries your transfer so you can utilize it real quick again. So I'm going to put this right down as low as it can go. And I'll turn it around here for you guys so you can see it. I can, I can chop upside down backwards. I can do hard things, Sean. What is wrong, Sean? Everything has to be in this area here. Okay, well, you didn't define that, and you're stressing, and I need you to take a deep breath, okay? I know that this is different <laughs> than you're used to, but... Okay, so, is this good, Director Sean? Um, I would say put this area that you're working on down right, literally like right in front of you because of okay, the so angle of the camera. Just so you know, by the time that you're done explaining it, I would be done and I could show them with it up. We're going to do the same thing over here. And once again, because our arrows were a little bit wet, we didn't, I didn't do a good job drying it. I'm just going to take a baby wipe. And then follow it up with a board eraser, which is right here. So anytime you trans, if your paste transfers where you don't want to, we tend to freak out and say, oh my gosh, we can't fix it. But you can with the board eraser, just very gently. Just like that. So I'm going to dry this. All right, so we're going to also let this dry here real quick because we have one more element on this board I want to do. So I'm going to let that just relax, let it do its thing. All right, so I'm going to grab this time a little, this is in our tag pack. So we have a tag pack that comes with, so... And we have this thing that comes with this part of the transfer. So it says, live the life you imagined. And we are just going to put it right here, kind of at an angle. And I'll bring it down so you guys can see it. So it's going at kind of an angle and you can kind of see there. And we're just going to use gray and then I'm going to grab that border again. So, because this is what I'm going to dry it before I use the border, so we don't have to worry about it. Oh my goodness. You're not so cute. And I just use this border, so it's pretty wet. Once again, I put it down sopping wet usually, take my four inch squeegee. Squeegee out the water, and if you do not have a surface you can do this on, it's your dining room table or whatever, you can absolutely use our self-healing cutting mat to do this on. It works great. Um, grab your fuzzing cloth, and you're just going to dry it. And then I just put it like a burrito until I need it. And let's see, do I want to do gray or should I bring teal up into it? I think I just want to leave it gray. So I'm going to grab this border just like we did the other few times.
Sorry about that. Sorry. Sean's a very busy man. Very important man. And I'm not a fan of his alert. Because it sounds like we're going to war. Beautiful. Look at it. So fun. I'm going to dry that and we are going to put this all together. Okay. So you can put door takes together without the worry of controlling them, but that's not fun. So I'm going to be using my Ryobi hot glue gun. I'm going to turn it on and let it start warming up. And I love this thing because it gets hot. It gets quick, or it gets hot quick, and um, it's pretty powerful stuff. And I'm going to clean up where I got a little bit of teal. I will say this new paste formulation is amazing. It's very creamy dreamy, but once you start utilizing it, the pigment in my opinion, is a little stronger. So normally, if I would have gotten teal on my light wood top, it wouldn't be a de big deal, but this time I had to use my board eraser. So keep that in mind as that starts changing over to the new stuff. All right, so let's show you all the pieces while that's warming up. We have three different ones. We have this one here. That's gonna go on top. And this one will go on the bottom. So. It's going to look something like that. Beauty. And then we'll have another one that's going to go off to the side. So I'm going to let this heat up. Um, I still have a little bit of blue up here that I want to use my board eraser on. So is there any question, Sean, that we need to answer? Let's look. So for those of you just joining, I know we normally do our lives a little different. We're just trying something new to see what our results are compared to what we normally do. Every year it's good to kind of change things up, you know what I mean? Kind of get a feel. Is it keep it new, keep it fresh? And we're going to be on Instagram next. So we started on Facebook where we did I'll Go Grab the Project. So it's like Lou is heating up. Leslie F. just joined our crew as a designer. Hi, Leslie F. Hi, Leslie. So if you missed our first project on the Facebook... We did the same transfer, but look at it. Isn't that so cute? And it actually comes off, so we have magnets on there. Whoa! And this is our Eden board, so it's magnets. So we did this on Facebook, we're doing this one on YouTube, and then for those of you who have an Instagram account, probably 20 minutes after this one, we're gonna be Instagram.com forward slash Chalk Couture Kent's Creations. We're gonna do one more project just to show you how versatile our product is. Huh, Riles? Isn't that right? Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. So just to let you guys know, what, what's happening with the, the viewing and stuff is that we're using, instead of using our above camera or other camera, um, and then using our software, we're just doing an iPhone only and going from the iPhone directly to YouTube without using a software to go to YouTube. So and why? Fine. Because it, using what's called the native app, it allows us to actually be seen by more so, people. So, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and pretty much the rulers of the world, all social media, they don't like you to leave their app. So essentially what that means is if you're on Facebook, they want to keep you on Facebook as long as possible. If you're on YouTube, they want to keep you on YouTube as long as possible. When we go live, we use a software called Ecamm and Restream, which are third-party softwares. So basically it sends the information to the social media sites and it's up to the algorithm to tell you what to see. So even though you said, Ken, I've liked your page or I've subscribed or I have notifications on, I don't see it. It's because sometimes when we're not using the native app, basically you don't get the alerts. You don't see it. So we're testing that and seeing if this is true. So we are directly going into Facebook right now. We are directly hitting go live on YouTube, Instagram. We're going to hit go live and we're going to see what the results are. Because there is some sense to that madness. Okay. So... I have this 
where I basically am going to position it where I think I want it. So if on a door take, you can say, oh, yep, I like that. And what I do is I just grab a ballpoint pen. Um, I don't use, oh, where is my ballpoint pen? Do you have one in yours? I don't know. Uh-oh. I ha I truly do have stuff ready to go and people, not naming people's names, move it. Can you run upstairs, Tony, and get one? Yeah. Um, the reason why I like a ballpoint versus a marker is you won't see the ballpoint. So even a pencil would work. Um, well, shucks. The one time you need a pen, nowhere to be found. Who'da thunk? Well, I'll just wait like a patient little kid. While I am waiting, I do have a couple things. So this is just regular twine I got from Home Depot. This is the twine that actually comes with ornaments and our tags. And it's tied in this knot and I love it. And I don't untie it because I actually will glue it directly like that um, with that knot because I love this knot. And I have so much twine on you know, at my disposal, so I'm not worried about it. I'm um, wasting it that way, but I just love the way it. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw a very faint line of where I want this to line up, so I know that I can add glue. So, and you don't need to do a ton. And now, wherever my marks are, this is gonna line up with the thing here. And then I just follow my marks that I made here and I just bring it, I overshoot it just a smidge. So that way, if you do see the markers, it's not that much or the pen marks, it's not that much. And then I just press down. We're going to let that dry. And notice I have a little teal spot here. So I'm just going to wash it using my magic eraser or board eraser. Bada bing, I'm gonna dry that because I just got water on that. So here is where we're at. Beauty. And then I wanna add this. So using the same process, I'm just gonna see how I want this, which I want this one to come down right about there. And so I just take, once again, a ballpoint pen and I do just a very light Here. And, and it's really, I mean, it's not dark at all. You can see it's a very light. And then I just add a little bit of my hot glue. And you do have a little bit of time before the hot glue dries. So you do have a little bit of time to move it around and do whatever you need. So here is where we're at. Okay, so we have this twine. Just gonna cut this. I'm gonna flip this over. And I'm just gonna do it doubled up like so. And obviously we would normally do this from... Do you know what staples are in here? You know, you know I, I want to say long. You know, long ones, well, it's not going to go through all three. I guess it could. Can you grab that? Sorry, Jordan. Mommy. We have that twine in. So this is the twine that will actually have it hanging from the door, but I want to put a little bit of decorative twine right there. So this one, I'm just adding a dollop of glue right there where there's the dot. And I'm going to press that. So we're going to let it dry. And I do use my angled squeegee, see? People always say, Ken, you never use your angled squeegee. I just did. <laughs> Used it, nailed it. All right, so 
That should be dry. Sean can show you that one. I'm going to grab our other project so you can see the two we've made so far. Hi, Riles. Oh, that looks so good. Gorgeous. I love it. Country plaid in the back. Isn't that fun? So for those that were during this live, here's this. If you want to see what we did on Facebook, that is already on Facebook. It is 7.30. So for those of you who do have an Instagram account, make sure you have um, followed us on Instagram. It's Instagram.com at Chalk Torquens Creations. Um, we'll be going live. Now, Instagram, I think, is the only one that does it. I can save the video, but I don't know... I think it goes to ID. I don't do a lot of Instagram Live. This is new to us. So we'll save it to our device, but just in case it goes away, we can re-upload it so you guys can see it. Um, and then that way, too, we can share it in maybe our fan group or something like that. Um, which one do you like so far, the door tags or do you like the United States? Probably the door tags first, then the United States. Really? What is it about this that you like more? I just love, the, just love it. I don't know. It just looks great. Is it the plaid behind it or the... The plaid really. So before we awesome. leave, is there any questions, Shawnee? Um, can you make the door tags double sided? They are double sided, so if you want something on the other side, you could. Not mm -hmm. a problem. Where did you get the uh, U.S. Uh, the American cutout? It was in Target. the section of Target. Um, in fact, in their craft section, they have a lot of wood cutouts on clearance right now. Love my shirt. Thank you. Are you still going to do a uh, club couture for this thing here? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Every month, our club couture members get exclusive access to our live, which is broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, and then we give away those projects. So mm -hmm. we usually do that towards the end of the month because club couture, like, you won't get that transfer until after the 15th of the month, usually. If you are not a Club Couture member and designer and you want this transfer, the only way to get it is to be a designer or a Club Couture, which you can join today and get that. So if you join as a designer, it will come in your starter kit. If you join as a Club Couture, you will get uh, the transfer automatically sent to you with three yep. paste singles. So yep. that is true. So nice. All right, guys. For those of you on Instagram, we will see you over there in about 20 minutes. For those of you not, we will try to upload that to our crew headquarters. So if you're not part of our crew headquarters, and we will see you in about 20 minutes. Bye, everyone. Are we done?